So for this video, I'm going to discuss Math 7, Module Quarter 1, Module 5, Expressing Rational Numbers from Function Form to Decimal Form and Vice Versa. So what's in? So greatest common factor or GCF. Find the greatest common factor of the two numbers. So the number that can both divide the two. The greatest number that can both divide the two. For example, 7 and 14, the GCF here is 14. So 14 can divide 7 and it can also divide 14 itself. Then review on operations on integers. Perform the indicated operations and integers. So there are five numbers. Then what's new? So this is an example of how the fractional part can be converted into decimals. So if there are hundreds, tens, ones, point, decimal point, then tens, hundreds, then thousands place. So 25 and 6 over 10, we can have that one as for tens, 2, then ones, 5, then tens is 6. Okay? So 25 and 6 over 10 is equal to 25.6. 25 and 6 over 100 is 25. Point zero for the tens, hundreds is six. Okay, then twenty five and six over one thousand is same to five point zero zero six. In the table, you have six over ten. This is the same as shading six parts of ten rectangles. So we're going to have zero point six or six tenths. Then 6 over 100, you're going to shade 6 part of 100 square. So you're going to have 0.06 or 6 hundredths. Then 6 over 1000 or 0 0.006 or you can read this one as 6 thousandths. Decimal numbers can be written both in expanded form and in words. So for example, 14.258. Expanded form is 10 plus 4 plus 2 tenths plus 5 hundredths plus 8 thousandths over 1,000. In words, this is 14 and 258 thousandths or 14.258. The whole number part and the fractional part of a decimal number is separated by a decimal point. What is it? So to express fractions to decimal form, follow these steps. Step 1. Find a number you can multiply by the bottom of the fraction. Make it 10 or 100 or 1000 or any one followed by zeros. Step 2. Multiply both top and bottom by that number. Step 3. Then write down just the top number putting the decimal point in the correct spot. One space from the right hand side for every zero in the bottom number. For example, express 3 fourth to decimal form. Step 1, we can multiply 4 by 25 to become 100. Step 2, multiply top and bottom by 25. So we can have 3 times 25 equals 75. Then over 4 times 25 is 100. Step 3, write down 75 with the decimal point, 2 spaces from the right because 100 has 2 zeros. So we are going to count here the number of zeros of the denominator. So 3 fourths equal to... 0.75 or another way of expressing fraction to decimal form is simply divide the numerator by denominator so 3 divided by 4 okay then add 0 here so this is point add 0 so 30 divided by 4 is 7 so this is point 7 7 times 4 is 28 then 30 minus 28 is 2, add 0. So 20 divided by 4 is 5, so 70, 0.75. So example 2, express 1 third to decimal form. Step 1, there are no way to multiply 3 to become 10 or 100 or any. So 1 followed by zeros, but we can calculate an approximate decimal by choosing to multiply by, say, 333. So if we're going to multiply 3 
by 333 we can get 999 close to 1000 so if we're going to do that 1 times 333 is 333 over 3 times 333 999 now 999 is nearly 1000 so let us write down 333 with the decimal point three spaces from the right because 1000 has three zeros so we can have one third as 0 0.333 accurate to only three decimal places or again you can just divide the numerator one by the denominator three you're going to get the same number example three is just the same with example number two and so with example number four Again, the other way of solving this one is dividing the numerator by the denominator. Then, next one is writing decimal to fraction. So, step one is write down the decimal divided by 1 like this. So, decimal divided by 1. Then, step two, multiply both top and bottom by 10 for every number after the decimal point. For example, if there are two numbers, after the decimal point, then use 100. If there are 3, then use 1000, and so on. Step 3, simplify or reduce the fraction. So, example 1, express 0 0.75 to fraction. So, write down 0 0.75 divided by 1. Now, since there are two decimal points, so we can have in the denominator 100. So, we're going to have 1 times 100 and we're going to also to divide the numerator by 100 so your answer is 75 over 100 then simplifying this one 75 divided by 100 is 75 divided by 100 is 3 fourth the numerator and the denominator is divisible by 25 example 2 express 2.35 to a fraction so put the two aside and just work on 0 0.35 now, since there are two numbers after the decimal point, so we're going to have 35 times 100 is 35. Then over 1 times 100 is 100. So we're going to have 35 over 100. Then simplifying this one, divisible by 5. So 35 divided by 5 is 7. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So your answer is 7 over 20. Then bring back the 2 to make a mixed fraction. So the answer is 2 and is 7 over 20. What's more? A. Express each fraction in decimal form. Round off your answers into thousands place. So three decimal places. Then B. Express each decimal number in fraction in lowest terms or a mixed number in simple form. Then what I have learned. So you're going to fill in the blanks for your answer on the box below. So you have there terms inside the box so that will be the answers for this activity then what I can do express the rational numbers from fraction form to decimal form and vice versa so you have there are five questions then you're going to answer that one then next is assessment so a you're going to express the given into decimal form round of your answers to thousands place so three decimal places the next letter b is decimal into fraction express each decimal into fraction form so you have there 10 items then additional activities you have five numbers here for a express the fractions to decimal form so round of your answers to hundreds place so this is two decimal places then letter B express the decimal numbers to fraction form. Five numbers, so, so there are five numbers here. So apply what you have learned in our discussion. So that's it for this video. Thank you and have a good day.